I'm mostly just curious how much I know without doing any studying. <laughs> Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again, your favorite nail art channel. So my recent aquarium nails video where I essentially built a fish tank out of gel polish on my boyfriend Ben's nail got me thinking, what does it take to become an actually qualified nail technician? <laughs> it's certainly not just watching YouTube videos. <laughs> so if you didn't already know this, I am not a qualified nail technician and I have exactly zero professional credentials related to cosmetics or nails. I often get the question whether I'm a nail technician and I always laugh and I'm like, what makes you think that? <laughs> right, Menchie? I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my I just liked nail art, I started doing it and then I put it on the internet. And here I am. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of work to become a qualified nail technician, but I'm so curious about it that we're gonna find out today. <laughs> Hold on a second, I gotta fix my hair. How do we like it? I actually spent some time on it today. <laughs> Stuck in my lip gloss. <laughs> All right, where do we begin? How to become a qualified nail technician. It's an auto-populated search. <laughs> to become a nail technician, you have to gain a recognized qualification like VTCT level three diploma. Oh, that sounds like it's gonna take a couple years. Oh, UK government, okay, no, that doesn't apply. <laughs> Academy Canada Career College. One semester plus four week work term. That's it? I went to school for seven years. <laughs> okay, but you know what's not clear to me? Like which institution is actually offering this? Is this recognized across Canada or not? <laughs> All right, I suppose we're gonna have to do a more uh, specific search. Nail technician certificate. Let's start with Canada, cause that's where I am. Canada's number one pro nail school. Oh, it's an ad, okay, f that. George Brown College. Okay, that's a college that I've heard of. Here in Canada, we have universities and colleges. Universities are more for like academic, writing papers and science and shit. Colleges for more applied careers, like stuff in the trades or uh, cosmetology school. Uniform requirements. Excuse me, what are you saying? I dress like a professional today. <laughs> okay, it's still not clear to me if there's just one accepted degree or diploma or whatever that you require to be recognized across the country as a qualified nail technician. That's what I'm trying to find out here and I'm, I'm not getting it. <laughs> Am I making any sense? Am I overcomplicating this? Yes, probably. <laughs> nail technician license. Ontario. In Ontario, there is no licensing or regulated certification in this field. What? Actually? <laughs> All right, so I guess that makes me a qualified nail technician in the province of Ontario, Canada. <laughs> if I'm wrong, please comment down below. Tell me what is the T on becoming a nail tech? <laughs> All right, okay, well, even though you don't need a license where I live, <laughs> I wanna see if I can find one of the nail tech certification exams online, and then I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Beauty Council. Oh, how do I get appointed to that? <laughs> oh, here, what's this? Nail Technology Certificate of Qualification. Eligibility requirements. <clears throat> Try me, bitch. <laughs> All candidates must provide proof of 400 school hours. School hours. 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 Hey, you didn't say what kind of school hours. <laughs> if you attended a designated PTIB cosmetology school. Shit. <laughs> Will you accept a master's in sociology? So it looks like it's not gonna let me take the exam unless I get pre-approved by submitting my diploma in something related to cosmetology, which I don't have. All right, well, <clears throat> never mind Canada. Let's try America. The United States of America. Nail technician. Technician. It's like a magician, but technician. According to the US Department of Labor, there were 86,900 manicurists and pedicurists licensed in the United States in 2012. By 2020, this number is expected to increase to 100,000. Count me in. <laughs> in all states except Connecticut, Nail technicians must hold a valid state license. Okay, so just Canada's doing the nails under the table. <laughs> or Ontario, whatever. 33 states utilize the NIC's nail technician written examination. Cool. Where do I take it? <laughs> NIC online exam. Oh my God, it looks exactly like the exam pages from school. <laughs> Wait, so is this the actual exam? <gasps> 
You can take it online, but you have to pay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take the exam in a sec, but before we do, we gotta prepare. Now, although I do promote and believe in education on my platform, I must confess, I have not studied for this one bit. <laughs> Tips for passing your nail tech exam. Remember, studying for the test begins on the first day of class. Yes, June 4th, 2014. <laughs> Don't delay in taking your exam. That's right, bitch, hurry up. <laughs> Review chapters and notes on sanitation and safety. Uh-huh. Take out your old test from class. See where you made errors. Uh, do I have to watch my old videos? <laughs> if you are using a live model, Benji, <laughs> tell yourself that you won't fail. I will not fail. Fail. Quiet, please. Quiet in the examination room. Thank you. Important instructions. Do not leave the examination area without permission. Benji, you, you, you're gonna have to let me go to the bathroom. <laughs> this is what the exam is actually on, apparently. Scientific concepts. Perfect. We've got Christine the science queen. <laughs> Worth 40%. <laughs> what? Basic human anatomy. Oh, well, I've watched Grey's Anatomy, so we're good. Nail technology procedures, 60%. So what does that mean, like nail art? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get my credit card. <laughs> this examination is non-refundable, but what if I failed? Then I'm gonna want my money back. <laughs> Your payment has been processed. I passed. Which of the following massage movements is used on the bottom of the foot to stimulate blood flow? Can I Google it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. These sound like French words. Effleurage, pétrissage, tapotement, friction. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that one. Mm. Oh. Effleurage promotes relaxation. I should have known. <laughs> oh my god, I can keep doing it until I get the correct answer. It was friction? That's not a massage movement. That's just like physics of things. <laughs> I'll put my wrong answer back. <clears throat> Next. Which of the following is one of the three basic ingredients in the acrylic hardening process? Oh, this shit, I do not know. Hardener? Mm. Nope. <laughs> the inhibition layer on gel nails is removed using... What's the inhibition layer? A gel cleanser. <gasps> I did it! I guessed correctly. <laughs> Which layer of the skin is treated by salon products? What the f*** are these words? Who's home? Is that Ben? Ben, you're interrupting my exam. You go back to school. I love school. What's that? <gasps> Is that tea? Oh, it's iced tea. Oh. Thank you for getting the, oh, excuse me. What should be done to implements after they are removed from the disinfectant? Ben. Psst, I'm gonna ask you a question. Why are you whispering? I'm not cheating, okay? <laughs> I just want to see if you know the answer, that's all. Just pick the smartest sounding answer, mixed with an antibacterial solvent. You're wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fish. Uh, there's a time limit, I think. Actually, I don't think there is, but let's pretend. <laughs> Disinfectants are removed from the foot basin. We did that together! If he there barely fit in this thing. <laughs> Yeah, what were we supposed to do to it? To remove the disinfectants, I would just dump it out. <laughs> Option E. The client has chronic cold hands with dry skin. That's me. Yeah. Which of the following treatments is recommended? Probably paraffin. It's wax? Paraffin. Like, what does it do? Like, they're like candle to make your skin soft. It's the wax shit that they put on your hand. Is that the technical it's explanation? That's the whack shit? Yeah. <laughs> it's the shit that Jenna put on her whole face. Well, I'm trying to get new clients to muscle on. The growth of a healthy human nail plate is largely determined by proper diet, exercise, and physical health. Oh yeah? Well then, how come my nails are so healthy? I don't work out at all, and my nails look great. I don't even take Halo Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> The shape, width, and thickness is determined by... The Matrix? The Matrix. It's actually the Matrix. <laughs> don't know. Come on, take this seriously. No, it's the Matrix. What? F*** you, bitch! The Matrix? <laughs> the Matrix. <laughs> Which of the following layers of the skin is continuously shed and replaced by cells made of keratin? A. Papillary. B. Horny. Which one of the following products is applied just before colored nail polish? A base coat! Oh look, it's something you actually know. Which of the following is a government agency that regulates and enforces safety and health standards? YouTube. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> YouTube. Occupational Safety and Health Administration. That sounds like it exists. <laughs> It exists. <laughs> Which of the following is the largest human organ? Why do you yeah. need to know this to be a nail tech? Onychomycosis. 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 Pedicure basins. Like, why don't you just say, like, foot baths <laughs> are cleaned after each use with which of the following? Fing dump it out. Which of the following will help prevent overexposure to what? Overexposure to what? A technical term for ingrown nails is. Pain. Abrasive files are used to remove and shape which of the following? You should never use an abrasive file. <laughs> you tell them. Which of the following types of lights are used in the curing of artificial nail products? We did this, Ben. Is that what you burned me with? <laughs> it was hot. Ow. Something started burning. The skin around one nail is red and swollen. It sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> what action should be taken by the practitioner? Service the nails, but avoid touching the red one. <laughs> Tell the client about the disease. Disease? She's like a little redness. Ben, I'm sorry, but you're going to die. <laughs> Your makeup right, right. looks pretty. Thanks, I know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you're distracting me. I need to focus on my exam. In fact, you shouldn't even be in this room, sir. Okay, I'll gladly leave. <laughs> Have fun in here. Thanks for the tea. During a service, disposable items contaminated by blood must be thrown away. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Throw that shit out. <laughs> what question are we on? 36 out of 100. Can I get a time lapse, please? <laughs> Mode of T? Well, I didn't study for this one. <laughs> We're gonna have to play the guessing game of which one sounds the most complicated. Mmm, bacteria. <sighs> okay, second last question. Woo! What is the name of a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction? Drugs. No. <laughs> Catalyst, right? Come on, grade 10 science. Yes! <laughs> I still love that shit. <laughs> I miss school. <laughs> question number 100. Disposable nail implements are discarded because they are disposable. <laughs> are unable to be disinfected and reused. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go with A. And this exam. There's no turning back. I either become a nail tech or I don't. No. <laughs> Give me my results. Your overall percent correct. 65%. <laughs> Scoring in this range indicates some content knowledge and test-taking skills. Okay, but did I pass or did I fail? <laughs> I wanna see if I would have passed. Can't seem to find anything by the Nick people, what the pass or fail mark is. But on other websites of different states, like Missouri, looks like in their state, the minimum score required to pass the theory and practical is 75%, which means <gasps> I failed. <laughs> The pass-fail mark might be different in different states, I'm not sure, but I think it's safe to say that I'm not ready to become a qualified nail technician. <laughs> After seeing the types of questions asked in this exam, I think I have slightly a better idea about what it takes to become a nail tech. And it's not just about like how to paint your nails. <laughs> There's quite a lot of biology or chemistry based questions as well as sanitation and diseases and safety. Personally, I'm not really worried about the safety of others here in my salon. So basically just doing your nails on YouTube isn't enough to become a qualified nail technician. <laughs> what do you know? You can have as much fun as you want doing your own nails and shit, but if you want to practice on other people, then you need a license <laughs> or some kind of qualifications depending on the state or province you're in. <laughs> and all jokes aside, I know that being a nail tech or a licensed esthetician is an actual field with certain standards in place and guidelines so you don't hurt other people. <laughs> don't hurt other people. Menchie's bag. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I know this is a real field of study and I respect the education behind it. Stay in school. Whatever type of school will get you where you want to go in your career. Love, mom. <clears throat> With that being said, you never know when this YouTube thing's gonna die. I might need a plan B. I already got 65%. That's almost a B. <laughs> you know what I should do? Because I am a nail tech in training, <laughs> I need a resume. 
That's what I need. Yes. Resumes. Christine Neological. We're supposed to write in third person. That always made me uncomfortable. <laughs> A passionate and hard working suck. The number one nail art channel on YouTube. <laughs> Don't lie on your resume, kids. Polish mountain climber. <laughs> Wait, didn't I do that twice? Oh, yes, I did. I can write two separate boxes on my resume. Don't you love when that happens? <laughs> Painted an entire automobile with nail polish. Featuring Threadbanger. <laughs> what other experience do I have? Horn hub feature. <laughs> you think I'm joking, don't you? Let me show you. Almost 38,000 views. <laughs> References. Don't ask Ben. <laughs> and now I'm gonna send my resume to a qualified nail technician and see if they'll hire me. Brings your whole design to life. I love it. Looks Susie, so uh, something came for you. What? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Okay, so when you put that on, you want to make sure you get all the fingers nice and smooth. Never give up on your dreams, kids. <laughs> well, this was a lot of fun, but it turns out I have a lot of studying to do, so I'm going to go now. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye!